Okay, I've been out here working like a madman on this uh, new radiator I got. It's a big, thick radiator with a, a new condenser to replace this radiator. This radiator is not quite cutting it. Cools it down for a while, but uh, after about 10 miles of driving, it starts to overheat a little bit. So I think just uh, I've got this fan bolted directly to the radiator here, and I've got a lot of open area here. This is a single core radiator with an automatic transmission cooler inside it, so it's obviously I'm not getting enough uh, water flow to cool it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and redesign this. Right now I've got it designed to suck air through this back in here, but it gets super hot back in here because this thing it gets just gets boiling hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this whole thing around since I really don't have any air blowing in on the front and this little cowling is a little bit lower than the frame, this should kind of create a vacuum down here. I'm going to turn this around, put my air conditioner compressor on the inside, push this a little further in, and put my fan with a, a shroud to ensure really good airflow. In fact, I just got a 3600 CFM fan right here, and so basically I'm going to just uh, create that. Okay, now it took a lot of creative thinking here to uh, figure out how to put a condenser on the back side of the radiator when you have the feed tubes here because basically these little outlets are in the same place these are. But I did a lot of searching on the internet and somehow I came up with this device here. It's going to give me plenty of room here and here and it fits just exactly inside so I've got this thing sealed to the front here. And this one comes down here. I had to modify the drain plug a little bit but it fits on here really nice. I've got a piece of angle that holds it across the top. And by the way, this is a two-core radiator from Griffin. It's, a, it's more than double what I got, and it should be really good. But uh, I had to 90 this because this thing came straight out, so I 90 this over. I had to cut a bracket off so that it'll miss everything. And on the bottom, I put a little piece of aluminum channel right in here, all the way across, to bolt these two pieces together and keep everything straight. So now, that's step one. Now i got to build the fan and shroud. I've been out here all day trying to create a, a fan shroud for my uh, radiator. And uh, so I've been building and building and cutting and screwing things together with little number six screws. And I got everything to fit, all the pieces on here to fit so the fan will fit nicely. And uh, so basically now what I need to do is I need to start putting this stuff back together with some uh, silicone and some rivets and build my box. Okay, here's my fan shroud. I kind of put some silicone in between the panels and everything. Put it all together. And riveted it. There are some screws down here. There's four screws that come through the back that hold it to the bottom right here on this little strip. Those four holes there. And then these top holes here wrap around the top. Anyway, that's how it fits. 